In this video we're going to be multiplying and dividing uh, algebraic uh, terms or variables. So in the first one we've got something simple like 3 times m, I beg your pardon, 2 times m times 3 times n. And we can multiply the numbers, the numbers multiplied and just numbers multiplied, 2 times 3 is 6 times m times n but then we don't need to have those time signs there because remember in algebra uh, time signs can be implied so the answer is just 6m n. The next question uh, I've done, done the groundwork let's just go 4 5 so 20 a times b. The next one 4 times 5 is 20, but let's make it 4 times negative 5, which is equal to negative 20. Now let's have a look at each of our pronumerals. a times a is a squared, and that's the only b and that's the only c. And this one, let's have a look at all our numbers. 2 thirds times 6 times a half. Let's think of 6 as 6 over 1. That means we can do some cancelling down. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 2 once, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice. So basically all of that simplifies to 2 on 1, which is 2. And then we've got s times s here, which is s squared. And we've got then t. I'm doing the variables in order. And then w times w, which is w squared. Now we're dividing, and the first thing that I like to do when I'm dividing is write them in fraction form. So this is 24m over 8n. And you can see that 8 will go into both of those numbers, top and bottom. So 8 goes into 8 once, and 8 goes into 24 three times. So the answer is 3m over n. With b, let's write it in fraction form. So it's 4a squared over 5a. Now remember that a squared is equal to a times a. So if we go a goes into a once, a will go into a squared a times. So it's like we just don't need the square anymore. So that becomes 4a over 5. In this one, more dividing, let's write them in fraction form. So it's 4ab over negative 8ac. Now, 4 will go into 4 once, and 4 will go into negative 8, negative 2 times. So I'm thinking that I will put the 2 on the bottom, and I'll put the negative sign out the front, because basically a positive divided by negative gives a negative. The A's will cancel top and bottom, and we're left with B over C. So our answer is B on 2C, or I should say negative B on 2C. With the next one, right, that in fraction form is minus 24E squared F cubed G divided by negative E F squared G squared. Now, if it helps, remember you can put the, the number 1 in here so that it's uh, minus 1 lot of E F squared G squared. So here you've got a negative divided by a negative makes a positive, so, so our answer is going to be positive. Uh, 24 over 1 is 24. E squared divided by E leaves an E as a surplus of E's on top f cubed divided by f squared. OK, we'll leave one f on the top. All right, it's like f, f, f over f, f. Two will cancel out just to leave f on the top. And then g on g squared means that g will go into g once and g will go into g squared g times. So we'll have a g on the bottom. Now, if you've got any doubts about these, you can rewrite all of these um, these uh, power type ones out in full and, and then cancel out. 
And question four, we've got some composite type questions. So I'm very tempted to to do the uh, multiplying, 3 eighths 24 AB divided by, put it in fraction form, is over 6. 6 goes into 6 once, 6 goes into 24 four times, so the answer is 4AB over 1, which is just 4AB. In this one, I just uh, simply rearrange this, 4A times 2C divided by 16 AB. So 4 twos are 8AC over 16 AB. 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 16 twice, so it gives us a 2 in the denominator. A goes into A once, A goes into A once, they've cancelled out, and we've got a C left on top and a B left on the bottom. And quite a tricky question. Uh, the brackets here mean that this this part, this front part, is divided by all of that. So we might multiply this out. Four fives are twenty, so that's negative twenty. A times a is a squared. B C divided by the whole lot of three a b plus seven a b. This question's a little bit off putting, putting in the adding of like terms within a section that's called multiplying and dividing. But 3ab plus 7ab will give 10ab. So that takes it back to a single term. Now we can do the simplifying part down. 10 goes into 10 once, 10 goes into 20 twice. So that will be negative 2. We've got an A squared over an A, which leaves an A on the top. The B's cancel out, and we've got a C on the top. 